Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on the latest stories. We start with this transfer report talking about Manchester City striker Julian Alvarez as Barcelona are reportedly facing stiff competition from arch rivals Real Madrid for the pursuit of the 80 million rated Manchester City attacker. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about former vice, former Barca president, um, but the mayor, of course, as he calls for cooperation with President Laporta, Rossell, as well, to tackle the Negrera case. He still have the guts to say that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end over the past few days it has been widely reported that reigning la liga champions fc barcelona have taken interest in manchester city forward julian alvarez the 23 year old has been enjoying a fine stat to the 2023-24 season with six goals and five assists from 13 matches across all competitions. The Argentine international also signed a new contract with the treble winners earlier this year, committing his future to the citizens until 2028. And with his prominence in the team rising, more and more suitors have started to emerge for the Manchester City attacker. As mentioned earlier, Barcelona have taken a liking towards Julian Alvarez. The 23-year-old is seen as a potential long-term replacement for Robert Lewandowski, who is entering the final phase of his career. But Barca will now have to face competition from bitter rivals Real Madrid with journalist Sebastian Sruy claiming that the Merengues are also interested in signing the Manchester City striker. Real Madrid have not replaced Karim Benzema following his exit last summer and are on the lookout for a new striker for next year. The likes of Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland are understood to be the top targets, but it appears that Alvarez has also crept into the shortlist for the summer so reports in spain that linked barcelona with alvarez claimed that the 23 year old had an affordable release clause in his contract it would have made things easier you know to a certain degree for the blaugrana in the pursuit of the argentine international but the update from sebastian Sri states that there is no exit clause in Alvarez's contract with Manchester City. In that case, given that his current oh sorry, given that his contract still has over four years, a big sum would be needed to sign the World Cup winner whose market value stands at 80 million euros, making things difficult for Barcelona. Of course, Julian Alvarez continued to be linked with Barca. But something that I always ask myself, why should we, we have not even, we're not even done with, you know, Vitor Roque's acquisition. Yes, we signed Vitor Roque successfully, but up to now, we're still talking about, will it be possible for Vitor Roque to make it in January as majority of us have been expecting? Because till today, there is still still no guarantee that Vitor Roque will join Barca in the January window, because of what financial fair play, right? It all it all boils down to that, as you would expect. And of course, when we were pursuing Vitor Roque, who have always said yes, Barca were going for him because they needed a new generation, and they are seeing him as the long term replacement for Robert Lewandowski, who is gradually fading with age. And of course, I think Barca should take it step by step. Yes, we all know that Julian Alvarez has proved to be such a huge talent, such a phenomenal talent. The likes of Julian Alvarez that we saw at the World Cup, in fact, at City, 
He's so consistent with his performances. And of course, he's a player that any big club in this world would like to have in their team. Every team would like to have. You know, and you would expect Man City not to just, you know, just 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 to make life easy. If somebody wants to come and take him, it's yeah. We know Alvarez has not been playing quite regularly, like the way he wanted it to be, because you know Erling Haaland have always been the one starting. But I think compared last season and this season, Alvarez have been playing a little bit more than last season. And whenever he's given the chance, we see the fact that he does immediate impact. Let's be honest with ourselves. Considering Barca's economic situation and the financial fair play um, hurdles that we have been going through, if we want to be realistic as things stand, we can say, yeah, Barca would maybe do it. But it's going to be so difficult. City themselves rate him at 80 million. Barca can never pay such. Let's be honest. Let's be realistic. And even if that if that's the amount, it will be difficult. Now Real Madrid have entered the race, which is even more difficult. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. The Negrera case has burst back onto the scene in recent days with swift developments emerging on multiple fronts. George um, Joaquin Aguirre ruled that Barca's payments to the former vice president of the referees committee Enrique Negrera constituted to bribery. Barcelona have long maintained that their financial interactions with him were purely to obtain tactical reports on match officials. The club went on to appeal the judge's decision but were hit with a big blow when the same judge charged Juan Laporta with bribery. Of course, the complaint against Barca has always stood as bribery and sports corruption, both of which have a statute of limitations set at 10 years. Under the same condition, any events before March 2013 must not be criminally accountable, as the case was opened only back in March 2023. The judge, Joaquin Aguirre, however, has gone on to in reinterpret the law, he states that the 10-year window must stand from the date of the last crime as opposed to the date of opening the case. Thus, events from 2008 can be held criminally liable. With Jean Laporta holding the post of presidency at Barca at the time, he has now been dragged into the waters alongside Josep Maria Bartomeu and Sandro Rosell. Now, according to the report from Sport, Bartomeu has called for cooperation and joint action from the three accused presidents, he said, in view of the new acquisitions of the Negrera case, it would be convenient for the club to agree to a joint and feasible action of the three presidents now investigated in the investigation phase, he told the papers. The dimension and media scope makes it necessary for the benefit of our honor, image and defense, you know, of the values of Barca, a show of unity, and resistance that, in addition to giving a message of unity, also reinforces the strength of our partners or supporters. It was already attempted at the beginning of this procedure in February 2023, and recently former President Sandra Rossell also made an appeal to meet us to leave behind disputes that never do any good for our club, he said. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.